What's going on guys, Tyler here and welcome back to another Elementor video. In today's video we are talking about a brand new feature that has just barely come out for the beta version of Elementor and it will be coming soon to Elementor for public release. So I'm super excited to show you this awesome feature and of course if you guys are brand new to the channel, welcome, I really appreciate you stopping by. Be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button and join the family so you can be notified of upcoming videos just like this one. Now guys, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button if you enjoyed today's video, I would really appreciate it. It also helps me know which type of content you guys really like the most. And guys, of course, I always recommend Elementor Pro. It has so many added benefits to the normal Elementor plugin. The Pro version has all kinds of widgets and elements that you can add to your website to make it even more functional and also more customizable. There's lots of awesome things. You can check out that link, that first link down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for it because it really is very competitively priced. Now let's go ahead and jump into my computer and talk about this awesome new feature. So this new feature is called a mask and if you've ever done any kind of photo editing or video editing and created something where there's multiple layers on each other and you're cutting parts away, you're basically creating a mask. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. I want to show you because it's a little easier to understand once you see it. So what we're going to do, this is the easiest way to kind of visualize it and understand what this effect is. I'm going to drag in a video here on my new page and just like that we've got a demo sample video. Now what we're going to do to actually access this effect is go over here to advanced and we'll go down to mask. We'll click that and we'll turn the mask on. Now once we turn the mask on you can see it now almost like a cookie cutter kind of like cuts this element into the shape that we have selected. Now we can go ahead and change this shape right here, but just right off the bat you can see how cool and helpful this feature will actually be when designing your website. We now have like a circular video, which is basically very hard to do if you don't have this mask feature. Now, is, I think this is super awesome. I think a lot of people will find a lot of different uses for this, but let me just show you some of the pre-installed shapes that come with Elementor and this new feature. We have the circle, obviously. We have this flower effect right here. We have the sketch where it's kind of like somebody drew with a marker or something like that and you can kind of see what's behind the background here. You can go ahead and use the triangle right here if you need a specific triangle shape. Um, a blob, this is actually kind of a cool shape here. It kind of gives that full kind of horizontal, you know how we get that landscape type feel without giving it like a hard rectangle edge like the normal video would be. Um, and we have the hexagon also. It does kind of cut out the middle here, but it gives that kind of, you know, cool effect. If maybe you just had a video with maybe some colors and it wasn't necessarily content that you were actually showing. And I'm gonna show you why you actually might wanna use some videos that have kind of more of this like design feel to them. Now, before we jump into that, I do wanna show you, we do have one more shape and that is the custom shape. And we're gonna get into that in just one second but that is a very very important feature there now sizing we can go ahead and let's switch this back actually to the blob so you can kind of see how the sizing works sizing we have fit or we have fill now this is going to stretch to the edges so the left edge meets here and the right edge meets here and if you you're going for that kind of effect you can definitely do that um, you can just click fill like that, or you can set a custom size. Now you can go ahead and adjust this to whatever size you need it. And again, this is for the whole mask. Whatever you wanna do, you can go ahead and adjust it. You can make it really tiny. You can make it nice and big to where you're only getting maybe just a small effect on the corner or something like that. Um, but let's go ahead and just leave it to fit. I think that looks pretty good. And as far as repeating, you can also repeat this. So just like a background would be, you'd repeat it kind of over and over. You can see here on the left, we've got this same kind of this section of the shape repeated over here and this section of the shape right over here repeated on the right. So if you need to repeat, you can do that right there. I'm going to say for this example, we're just going to put no repeat. And that's pretty much it, guys. Once this video actually plays, you can see how cool this is. You're getting this kind of like cutout effect. It's almost like if you cut, you know, a different shape out of a piece of paper, and then we're looking at something through that paper. 
All right, guys, now I want to show you a really cool feature they added that I just mentioned here, this custom shape right here. If we click that, you can see it disappears here, but we have the option to upload an image. Now, the image that we're actually going to be uploading is going to be an image, a PNG image with a transparent background. So the only thing that should be in the image is whatever type of shape you want to actually cut through and get the video to shine through. So if we're for example, if we're going to use our logo, we want the background of the image to be completely transparent and we just want our logo on the image on this PNG, like I said. So I'm going to go ahead and just upload my signature, my kind of like, you know, default logo here and show you what this actually looks like. All right, guys, so I've uploaded my logo here and you can see here that the YouTube kind of this red play button is showing through there and you can see a little bit of the text. The text is actually from the video and I'll show you kind of some workarounds for that if in case you're running into this problem or maybe you're having part of the video show through that you don't really want to show through. I'll show you kind of how to adjust that. But for now, I think that looks pretty cool. It cut the exact shape of my signature when I uploaded this image over here. And you can actually see this image over here on the left. That is my signature. It's a transparent background with just my black signature right there. And, and that's what it results in. And I think that's really, really cool. Now let's go ahead and make a few little adjustments here. And what we can do is go ahead and set this size to custom. Let's go ahead and shrink this down a little bit. Uh, I think that looks pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and adjust the position. And this is how you're actually going to kind of crop out areas in the video that you don't necessarily want. So I'm going to go ahead and put this to custom here and I can adjust the X position. This is left and right right here. I'm going to go ahead and put it at 50% right there and then the Y position. I'll bring it down just a little bit. Perfect. Now we're not getting any of that red, any of that text right there or the red YouTube play button. Perfect. Just right there. Now it doesn't look too different than the black version here where we don't have a video shining through, but let me show you what the difference is. If we go ahead and go back to content, if we switch this to autoplay, we're going to mute this, we're going to loop this, and we're going to go ahead and leave the player controls off. So let me go ahead and switch all of that and we'll go ahead and play on mobile as well. Mute, loop, and turn the player controls off. Look at this effect that we get. Watch when it plays. You get this like the clouds going through the background of my signature and it won't stop because it's set to loop. I think that is really cool. And again, you could do this for any video, no matter if it's a video of clouds or if it's a video of just maybe colors changing or fading or anything like that. You get this super cool effect and that's my logo right here with this cool, awesome effect on it. All right, guys, and that's not all. You can use this mask effect for any element. Currently in the beta version, there's a tiny bug that it's not working with images, but I'm sure that will be coming very soon because it's already developed out. But I'm going to show you here even on a button right here. So let me show you what this is like. We'll go ahead and edit the element. We'll go down to advance. We'll click advanced and then go down to mask. We'll turn this on and I have blob here selected. Again, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the size so we have a nice big blob there. But you can see right here as I adjust it, we're getting like this cool effect happening on the button. Now, I think that's super cool. I think it kind of brings this whole dynamic of, wow, I can kind of stylize even elements and how they look on the page. And that about wraps it up for the brand new masks feature that is coming out to Elementor in the public release very, very soon. So I am very excited about this feature. I think Elementor is doing a phenomenal job at consistently and constantly putting out brand new and just kind of like boundary breaking new features. And so if you guys are interested in upgrading to Elementor Pro, like I said, Elementor has got tons of cool features, not just this, but so many others. Be sure and check out that link down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for it because it really truly is a great deal. Now guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please again smash that nice 
thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. It helps this video get boosted a little bit more in the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys aren't subscribed yet, be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button. Join the family and be notified of upcoming videos just like this one. And with no further ado, guys, thank you so much. Again, have a great week and make it a successful day. Take care.